The fourth beta of Android 16 is now available as Google's next major OS update nears the end of the development process. Over the next few minutes, we'll dive into all of Android 16 Beta 4's new features and every single change, um, showing graphics of Android 16 Beta 3 and changes in Beta 4. If you want to quickly install the Android 16 Beta 4 on your compatible Pixel, <laughs> please stay to the end of the video as we will show you just how easy it is to enjoy Beta life on your Pixel device. Here's everything new in Android 16 Beta 4. Android 16 Beta 4 has officially launched and the new version brings a couple of small changes that might normally go unnoticed. The first and most notable addition is the always-on display clocks get dynamic color. Previously, the thin outlines for all clocks were outlined in white. Now, the clocks make use of dynamic color on pixel clock graphics, essentially getting rid of the white outline and sticking to the original color of the clocks. Depending on your theme, this change might not be as obvious given how thin the clocks are. In general, this makes the clocks slightly darker than the previous white versions, but the change is noticeable. Android 16 Beta 4 is breaking barriers and the second edition gives us a brand new way to close out apps just in case you can't swipe it away. Now, when tapping an app icon in that recent menu, you'll see a new close option. Tapping this close option is the equivalent of swiping up and dismissing an open app. This new option can be found among other new options added such as the split screen option and pause app option. In the third edition of Android 16 Beta 4 makes media player artwork darker, which gives your Pixel's display a nice touch of increased contrast. There is no change to the media player layout, but Android 16 Beta 4 sees the rectangular preview for the artwork get noticeably bolder and darker in color. This is the case on both the lock screen and quick settings, with the differences being quite drastic in some cases. The examples on the screen show YouTube and YouTube music. There is no difference when switching between the system light and dark themes, however. You still get the lava lamp effect when media is playing, but it is less noticeable. Now, overall, some might enjoy the more subtle, less distracting look. It remains to be seen whether this change will make its way to the final release of Android 16. The fourth edition, or shall we say first subtraction, is a bit of a head scratcher. The battery health indicator has been removed for some users. On two of our three Pixel devices, battery health is gone. Some people are still seeing it show up in theirs. After introducing this feature last month, Android 16 Beta 4 has removed the new battery health stats page for a number of Pixel owners. If you have a Pixel with Beta 4, go to the Pixel Settings app, then select the battery section. See if yours no longer shows battery health. On the devices with battery health removed, charging optimization instead replaces it. Battery health was a nice addition as it shows a big green check mark if everything is normal. Google notes your phone's battery capacity as an estimated percentage of charge the battery can currently hold compared to a new standard battery. It decreases over the lifetime of your device. It is a feature that is a staple in iPhone settings. It is always nice to see how well your internal battery holds up over a certain time period has passed. We hope battery health will find its way to the final release of Android 16. Another subtraction of Android 16 Beta 4 we noticed is the themed beta badge icon has been removed again. Not sure why or how this was modified, but it is something to note. Another subtle change in Beta 4 is the gesture navigation demo has changed. Go to the settings app, then select display touch and then go to the navigation mode. See the gesture navigation settings gear and you will see what we are talking about. So check out this neat little addition to Beta 4. It is an apps list shortcut. It was added and is available when the user long presses on the Pixel launcher home screen. You can see here in the picture. In addition to all the changes in Android 16 Beta 4, another exiting piece of news that comes with this new pre-released version of Android is the launch of the Beta series on the new Pixel 9a. The Pixel 9a can now enroll in the Android 16 Beta. How cool is that? It was released what, like this week, and it's already suitable for Beta software. Man, I love Google. After just launching a few days ago, the brand new Pixel 9a is now eligible to enroll in the Android 16 Beta with the release of Beta 4. Since it was officially put on store shelves, the device has received a couple of updates, but these were limited to the stable Android 15 channel. If you do happen to have the device, you can get a taste of the next release, which is expected to drop in stable channels at some point in quarter three, probably in June of 2025. One of the easiest and quickest ways to get started in the beta program is to head to the Android beta devices page, which will be linked in the description box below. As long as you are signed into the same Google account on your Pixel 9a as your browser, you will get the option to opt in to the Android 16 beta. 
It's a super quick process too, but please back up all on device files prior to doing so. After enrolling online, you will be able to download and install the beta by heading to the settings app, then select system, then software updates. It is worth noting that you might need to refresh this page a couple of times or wait a few more minutes if it does not appear immediately. The update appears to weigh in at around 3.3 gigabytes for the Pixel 9a, as it skipped Android 16 beta 1 through 3 prior to this beta 4 release. Um, so tread carefully if you are on a limited network or have a low data plan. The update size on our Pixel 9 Pro XL weighed in at just over one gigabyte. If you encounter issues, bugs, or problems and wish to revert to Android 15, please note that this will require a device wipe. With that in mind, ensure you have all important files and data backed up prior to getting started with the Android 16 beta on your Pixel 9a. Thanks for viewing the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment. If you need to reach me personally, our contact information is in the video description below. Also, please visit our new YouTube channel and website, The Unlocker. The Unlocker provides a free guide to iPhone and Android unlocking. We show you how to remove carrier restrictions, iCloud unlock, blacklist repair, and so much more free of charge. All links will be provided in the description box below. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.